Here comes Brett. Oh. 503 road tack. Crazy. So one time I devised a plan that would be the envy of most any man. Anybody uh, into the vintage snowmobiles that is. But uh, yeah, we decided to go out on this sledding trip and uh, it was uh, minus 35 below zero. So it was, you know, pretty darn cold, right? And I don't know what it was back then, but I was so obsessed with going out in the, in the cold and just seeing if we, could, if we could make it, you know, how far could we go and you know, and we had our dogs with us, and um, you know, I, I didn't really, I was only a dog owner for less than two two years at this point, so I, you know, I wasn't, I didn't know the limits just yet kind of thing, you know. We knew that Brent's dog had fur, and she could withstand the cold, but we weren't quite sure about Chevelle, how, how much she could take. Like, she had been on some adventures, but not any, you know, three-day adventures at, at, the, at those temperatures. So we head up into the foothills, uh, of the uh, Canadian Rockies, that's where, that's right where, close to where we live. And we head out of town, not too far, about 20 minutes out of town. There's a little snow belt area there. Uh, it always gets more snow than town does. And so we, we un, uh, get out of the trucks, we leave everything there. We had our backpacks, our sleeping bags, our gear, extra fuel. We had this all packed onto these machines. And um, I was driving a, uh, I say in the video it's a 1972, but I'm pretty sure it was a, a 73 Rupp Nitro. That thing was a, a 440, but had a 340 engine in it, uh, tilts and carb. It was the only sled I ever had that actually ran great with a tilts and carb. All the rest of them I did Makuni swaps, but that one ran awesome. And uh, I'll probably get into other videos later on why I think that, or why I pretty much know that carburetor worked when the other ones wouldn't. But anyways, and so Brent, he was riding this uh, kind of a uh, old school mod sled. It was a, it was a 1980 Pantera, I believe, with a 503 Rotax in it, fan fan cooled, and had like plastic paddles, like two inch or inch and a half plastic paddles on the back, and it actually went pretty good. And then Snowjet Dave, he had my old Snowjet. Now that thing originally, I got the thing for like 50 bucks. Guy told me it was, the engine was done. I had it running in three hours uh, around the around the shop. It was just ended up being the points needed to be adjusted, and so I went right through the sled and I rode that sled for about a year and a half and I rode it lots and that thing just worked awesome. It was uh, I think that's a '77 Astro SS, I believe that was the year and it was the kind of the year that Kawasaki bought out Snowjet. So the engine was Kawasaki. It was a 340, just a, a phenomenal engine. And in fact, that, that sled actually is still going to this day. I ran into a kid two summers ago and he had that sled and it still runs and everything. That's kind of cool. And so anyways, um, so Dave, somehow I ended up selling it and buying it back a couple times actually. I think I ended up trading Brent for a, a 304 uh, AMC motor for his Jeep. And then, uh, so I wound up with it and then I sold it to Snowjet Dave. That's what we ended up calling him after. <laughs> And so Dave had that, and then uh, I had the Rupp, and Brett had the, the Arctic Cat. So. so anyway, so we head out, and we take off from the trucks, and uh, well, we're going to get into the video here in a bit. I'm just posting the pictures for, for now here. But um, we, we left the trucks, and uh, we were probably about an hour sled ride over the, through the hills and everything uh, to get to the cabin, you know. And the plan was like, we don't stop. We got to keep these dogs running because it's cold enough that, you know, they're going to freeze if we don't, right? And so, so we're going along and we were trying to find our cut line and we just couldn't find it. And I couldn't remember where it was. And Brent was thinking it was farther down. And I was like, oh, I don't think so. But turned out he was right. It was farther down. And so about that point, the dogs, like we're kind of going up and down the road. The dogs don't know what's going on. They're just following us. And finally, Brent's uh, sled starts acting up. 
So he heads back to the truck, I keep running the dogs, and then eventually I go back to the truck, and here's Brent, you know, licking his fingers, checking for spark. <laughs> and uh, so finally it turns out either he had one or I had one in the old tickle trunk, but we had another coil, and we bolted it on, it was back to the races again. So, so he was going again. And at that point, we just pulled the pin. We're like, okay, enough's enough. Like, it's too cold. Chevelle, you could tell Chevelle was getting cold. Brent's dog, Aries, she's fine. She's a, she's a little, uh, like a little wolf, a little coyote almost, you know. Uh, her mom was a husky wolf. Her dad was a, a black lab blue healer. So, you know, um, she had the fur kind of thing. And Chevelle, she could, Chevelle had the stamina. Chevelle could run. She had the big long legs, but she didn't have any fur in her belly. And so, yeah, you could tell Chevelle's uh, belly was getting a bit cold. And so we said, screw it. We'll just put the vehicle, or the dogs in the truck and the sleds back in the box of the truck. And, uh, and we'll, we'll all just drive to this cabin that we were originally going to, to ride to. And so the video takes place. Uh, it, would, it would be the next, I guess, the next morning after we spent the first night there. And it was super cold. I mean, we got to the cabin. It was minus 32 or 31 or something like that. And it kind of fluctuated around minus 30 the whole time we were there. So it was super cold. And um, and uh, we just ended up, uh, you know, making some grub and having some beers and whiskey and tried to stay warm. We pretty much slept on top of that wood stove all night. So here we go. Let's get to the show here. Minus 30. He's cold. Minus 30 out in the old Greg cabin. We froze last night. Well, not in here, but... We probably got her up to at least minus 15 in the cabin after about five hours. There's the old moose steak cook. Good old moose steak. Oh. See something else, boys and girls? 1972 Rup Nitro. Come on, you. <laughs> okay so that's it for part one in part two there we hit the trails and that's kind of where the action begins and basically just try to stay warm and more more time in the cabin and whatnot and so yeah we'll see you for part two <laughs>